Shut up and sit down. Weebles wobble, but they don't find fall down. They don't. They don't find. They don't find fall down. All right, wait, hold up. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. They don't find what? Find out next time <laughs> on the Museum Chronicles. So welcome to the Museum Chronicles. Uh, so we just went to Carnegie Hall, had a wonderful time. Uh, now we're at the museum. Uh, it's turning out to be a pretty nice date. I'm enjoying myself. I think I had a little too much to drink at the bar beforehand, but, you know, whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Welcome to Blown Garbage Gaming. We're having a wonderful night downtown. It's just, just me and my date. Suspect in the back of the cop car, like, it's a good time. Wow, just because he's Japanese, he's a suspect? No, it's because he's white. <laughs> he's a white Japanese. That's right. He's <laughs> Japanese. God damn it. <laughs> he's like Caucasian, but without the cock. We need to start <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Blood Cartridge Gaming, if you haven't figured it out by now. Jesus Christ. Uh, so, where to? I just selected it. Is there any place without research facility? Any one of them. Research facility. Uh, okay. I'd like to conduct an experiment and test something. Might be relevant. Uh, how about the facility and museum where Clamp is at? They have really extensive equipment there. I like that I, this I is- you mean expensive. Expensive, <laughs> okay. No way, man, anywhere but there. It did say extensive. This should have been evacuated by now. It should be okay. Uh, yes, that sounds good. Uh, Daniel, is that okay? It's Daniel's son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. <laughs> uh, I'm expecting a big tip for this. Um. Yeah, no. This, this is another scenario that I absolutely hate, where it's like, oh, science is science. You know, we got some science devices. You're a science guy. You want to use the science? Yeah, I'll use it for my science now. Yeah, because all science is one science. Yeah. Like, in this case, yeah, it's fortunate. They're both researchers in biological chemistry and all that. But they didn't actually know that. He's just like, hey, where can I get some science around here? And they're like, uh, I guess, I guess over here. The science place. Yeah. Uh, so it's a museum of natural history. It's just as I imagined. I can find a research facility in this building? Yeah, hopefully we won't run into the jerk-off who runs it. Since he's been evacuated, it should be empty. Uh, I just burped and retasted the sushi from earlier. Oh, fuck yeah. That sushi was, um, was pretty good. You enjoyed it? Well, I, okay, I liked the eel, the crunchy whatever that was in there too. I wasn't the roe? Uh, I wasn't a fan of the, uh, like, mustard sauce that was on it. Oh, uh, yeah, they do their own. Uh, hmm, for a lab and a museum, it does have fairly extensive equipment. I told you it said extensive. I know, I know it said extensive. Oh, you just, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I ruin your joke? So, what do you want to test? Um, HIV positive. Yep, thought so. Uh, yes, yes, of course, let me see. I was able to extract a gel-like substance from Stevenson's clothing. Okay, it, it, it's at this point where I have to point out that you don't need to make the episode as offensive as you possibly can. I'm not trying! <laughs> it's just playing out into my lap. <laughs> like a hooker who's already had coke. Talk about a cheat day. Seriously. Pepsi's way better. <laughs> <laughs> Pepsi, man. Okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Joe, is it from Eve? Yes, it appears to be a remnant of Eve's cells. Uh... I was going to say something earlier, and I've uh, forgotten what it was. At the cellular level, her power cannot be as strong as Stevenson said previously. Oh, I remember this scene, actually. Uh, yeah. Ow! <laughs> Got a little break there? <laughs> what <are> you... <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I just want to conduct this experiment to see whether or not... Uh, Alright, we're going to get an amazingly rendered CG cutscene. It's absolutely beautiful. No, I never noticed. She's got she got a nice textured butt. What do you think? Mm, yes, this is exactly as I it's just as I thought. Go ahead, take a look. Um I'm trying to remember what it was. What is it? I mean what is it? Uh <laughs> all the voices are coming together in my brain! Oh my god! <laughs> Spider-Man the movie totally ripped this scene off. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, you know, Spider-Man the movie totally ripped Spider-Man off. <laughs> it was a rip-off. <laughs> no, I like the I like the Spider-Man movies. I haven't seen the newest. I one. liked the newer ones. Uh-oh. Well, the first one at least. Wait, was there a? There were two of the Amazing Spider-Man. Okay. Yeah, uh, I haven't seen either. Of was them. it the Amazing? I don't. I don't even remember now. But yeah, the new series there were, there were two, and then they stopped it. The first one I liked. The second one was okay. Yeah. Your cells are completely surrounded by. Ah, uh, damn it! Your cells are completely surrounded. Uh, uh, by them. them. <laughs> As you can see, the mitochondria uh, Eve has taken over the nucleus. I was about to do a, a thing where it was like, oh, no cells, come out, come out with your hands up. We're having completely surrounded. But no, I didn't get it out of time. In a similar manner, the beast that attacked you probably experienced the same thing. Does the mitochondria really have the power to control the nucleus? No! Ha ha ha! Funny joke! Yes, they do. No. <laughs> Damn it. The normal mitochondria never has such power, but Eve's mitochondria has gone through a tremendous evolutionary changes. This is what I think happened to Eve's mitochondria. Normally, mitochondria require oxygen when they generate energy, called ATP. And Attack is- power! Actually, adenosine triphosphate. There you go. That's why zombies can't be real. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's part of my uh, part of my zombie theory. <laughs> so this time, the mitochondria requests oxygen from the nucleus. Without any energy supply from the mitochondria, the nucleus cannot function. So it's, in essence, the two organelles constantly rely on each other. This is legitimately like biology one from high school. Is all of this? So I always wondered when I first played through the game, like how much is based on real science and how much just bullshit they made up. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Everything that he's saying right now about mitochondria and cells, I'm just gonna kind of skip through because fuck voicing this. Like I said, this is this is a lecture. We'll make sure people have time to read. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of doing. But um, that's one of the things that I actually really appreciate about this style of science fiction is it starts out with with hard science and then goes what if based on that okay that's why i don't like doctor who <laughs> cuz doctor who is like we're science fiction because we have laser guns probably doctor who is like we're not even going to try and make it seem real because this is for fun yeah i like that no i I'm, I'm okay with that but everybody wants me to approach it as though it is science fiction oh and it's not it is straight up fantasy with with the with the sciency. Well, yeah, I I would agree. It is not science fiction. It's fantasy. Yeah, it's it, like it's like calling something I would drink coffee when really what it is is milk and sugar with a little bit of, of coffee in it. That's kind of that's kind of the ratio of like. Wait, so you are okay with something that has a little coffee in it? When I decide to drink coffee, on the rare occasion that I decide to drink <laughs> coffee, it could never be defined as coffee. Yeah. Okay. By the time I'm done with it. The thing for me, Doctor Who specifically, was that thing where it was described to me and I was like, that's the dumbest shit ever. I'm not watching that. Yeah. But then I actually watched it and I really got into it. I mean, I, I don't doubt that it's but, uh, probably pretty good. But... I totally agree. Like, it is it is fantasy disguised as science fiction. Yeah. And I already have a problem with science fiction disguised as fantasy. Like, that. Like the, <laughs> the two just don't need to... It, when you when you go through a scenario where it's like oh we have this magical mystical power thing and, and it's it's so mysterious and magical and mysterious it's wonderful it's great I, I can't think of a single I can't remember like any specific series that does this but then they turn around and like oh they got another season they weren't expecting to have and all of a sudden they have figured out how it works and suddenly it's aliens oh, so, yeah so it's not magic anymore yeah <laughs> now it's just an applied science but one that we didn't know about before like. You could argue that that could be done well, but I can't think of any time it was done. But I know it. I know what you mean. Yeah, I've seen it happen. I can't remember any particular thing. I think um, the Highlander series actually kind of did that. The Highlander series did a billion different things. Yeah, I know, but that was the one that caught me. Otherwise, I kind of like the Highlander. I don't know. Well, do you mean that's the TV series or the movie series? Movies. Yeah. Yeah. The, the TV series went back to magic. It's hard to like the Highlander series when you're talking about the movies because each one was so drastically different yeah. and they changed everything. You know what I wish they had made a sequel to? Highlander 2. I really think that they could have gone further with that one. Do you remember Highlander 2? Nope. 
Uh, so there are good <laughs> movies, and that is not on the list <laughs> for any reason. Uh, I need your arm. I love Christopher Lambert. He's awesome. I don't know who that is. He's the guy that was Highlander in the movies. Oh, I thought that was Sean Connery. Sean Connery was the actual Highlander because Highlander is a term for those who live in the high hills of Scotland. Just the story. All right. <laughs> like this here. Yes, yes. Oh. Let me just set this up here, twist this knob, turn on this Bunsen burner. I'm just going to uh, keep poking the fuck out of myself. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it hurt when I bleed? I'm a scientist. I have to understand. I think you better see for yourself. My nipples look like milk guns. <laughs> look, I do a face on my penis. Uh, I, don't, I, th I don't think I need to see it. This is what makes Eve special. This is why she can fight. Okay, so then why it, he got blood from himself, and then he got blood from himself. Why is it different? No, 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 no. He got blood. This is this is uh, Stevenson's blood. Oh, okay. Yeah, Stevenson cells are able to repel. Stevenson cells are like. Fuck off! Yeah. They're um, pop culture reference to other pop culture reference. Yeah. You realize what is happening? No. The mitochondria are supplying more energy to the nuclei of your cells. It's also as if they are almost as if they are protecting the nuclei from Eve's mitochondria. Why does Stevenson's mitochondria have this kind of power? I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> are you familiar? All right, we're going into uh, biological philosophy now. Do we want to? All right. Genes act in a manner to preserve and ensure survival of the species. Um. Sort of. Sure. Careful, you're gonna pop the wire in. Oh, uh, whatever. I'll be fine. Hey, man, I don't read those scientific journals. What are you trying to say? Read more! Read more! <laughs> read a book! Read a book! Read a motherfucking book! Depending on how you look at it, you can say that Eve is trying to destroy all mitochondria except her own. In response to that, Stevenson's mitochondria has developed the power to rebel. Hell yeah! It's gonna be pickup trucks and and, and and rebel flags. No, okay. Anyway, war of northern aggression. If you listen closely, you hear "We will rock you" playing out through the, her bones. <laughs> <laughs> She's turning her into a giant speaker because nothing fights the power better than music. <laughs> if we learn anything from the '70s, it's that we don't remember the '70s. <laughs> Careful! It looks like you're ruining the. Thing. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so. I will destroy this this college. You have. I'm sorry. Are you are you mad at me? A little bit. Oh, I, it's just I don't know. Fancy. I'll I'll take my left hand off the control. That seems to follow the natural order of things. But I'm sorry. I don't know why. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this isn't just an amazing action shot, right? To here, right? The two cops, fully loaded, pointing, and then the researcher in the back scratching his head still. And his junk, it looks like. Yeah, he's totally scratching his junk. Huh. Professor! What are you doing in my lab? This is breaking and entering. Why haven't you evacuated the city yet? I'm asking why you people are in my lab! Uh, we were just... Uh, Playing with your toys. <laughs> <laughs> we're fucking your shit up. Ah! We received orders to evacuate the city. Professor, you really should... <coughs> uh -uh. I tell you, the cops are the ones corrupting this fine city. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, it was my fault. You see, I asked him to bring me here. Who the hell are you? Oh, I'm uh, Kunoiko Maeda. Did I do that right? I did! Kuriko Maida. And I'm a scientist from Japan. Oh, I gotta turn it. Flip the two. Yeah, that's gonna be hard. Uh, you were using my electronic microscope. Aren't you? Uh, I can tell because you've got the ink stains around your eyes. <laughs> I pranked you, huh? <laughs> you remember that old prank? Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> what is this? Where did you get this specimen? I'm sorry, I jerked off on your electric microscope. 
You! Where did you get these cells? Uh, those, those are... Uh, Vegeta! I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, I'm still sick. Do you take me for a fool? No, I take you for a ride, baby. Hey. With cells like these, they must affect the body's natural state. Uh, um, uh... Oh, shut up. I'll just ask Officer Bray. Your cells contain a tremendous amount of energy. Hmm. Do you feel any bodily changes? I I keep getting hot. Everyone around me gets super hot. Uh, go! <laughs> <laughs> you should feel somewhat hot. No. Speak up, officer. I can't hear you. I said go fuck yourself. Have you lost consciousness recently? Hey! What the hell is this? Why is my boy's name here? What are you looking for? Flashlight and the bottle and screw. No, I don't get it. Okay. Uh, uh, like screw. There. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, Lorraine! Lorraine's on here too. Clamp, you tell me. Tell me what list was for. Tell me what list is out. Tell me you hear. Things! Tell me things! <laughs> <laughs> you need Can a cough drop or something? I might. Jesus. Nah, I just inhaled some spittle. Ah. There's a bag room next to you if you need one. Of spittles? <laughs> yes. <laughs> a bag of spittles. <laughs> this is a family size. Uh, I don't have to tell you anything. What? Daniel, calm down. Uh, Dan, Daniel. Damn. Whoa. They used a dirty word. These fuckers used a dirty word. Look at him shake, 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 shake. <laughs> oh, somebody, somebody rigged up my my model improperly. He's having a seizure. <laughs> Get out of here. <coughs> oh, damn. There we go. All right. Seeing as better. he was supposed to evacuate the city with everyone else, I don't think he has the authority to tell you to get out. No, I don't think he does either. Uh, <laughs> this is like this is public property, right? Like the Natural History Museum, I imagine, is owned by the city. So, having city officers in there, yeah. that should kind of be okay. Sorry to disturb you. We do have to officially warn you of the evacuation. Please remember that. I guess it's not forced relocation. I don't know how it works. Uh, Officer Bray, you enjoy having that barbarian for a partner? Ah, yeah, Pete's having a fucking rogue. <laughs> <clears throat> Always reaching in your pockets. Yeah. Oh, uh, touching no, your dangly uh, bits. Thank you. Uh, bye. Touching your dangly bits. <laughs> it jingles when I walk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it jingles when I take a shit. I don't know. Uh, it's too late now. It's too late to do anything now. Just sit here and whack off. Doom. 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 All right. How is that for progress? Yeah. 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 We uh we learned some We learned sciencey stuff. Yeah. I hope you guys did. I wasn't paying attention. We but made fun of sciencey stuff. We did make fun of sciencey stuff. Science is awesome, yo. I love science. Uh, it's always been one of my favorite subjects. And especially actually adenosine triphosphate, turning into adenosine diphosphate. Like that was something I paid a lot of attention to. I was super into zombies in high school. And then when I learned about that, I was like, oh, these can't work. <laughs> it does. It, they'll run out of energy, and that's it. I've never really been into zombies. Uh, I I don't know. I was at the right age when the zombie survival guide came out, and the way, how well it was written, I just got absorbed. So, but anyway, all right, guys, good episode. We'll see you guys. Have fun. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, go visit the museum. If a cop, if a, if a police cop officer comes, knocks on your door, says go home, don't. Go home. And, you know, you are home. I've been to the actual Museum of Natural History. It's pretty cool. Pretty yeah? Cool Dr. Clamp kick you out? No. Oh, well, you didn't have the real experience. Beat the hell out of the Guggenheim, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't I, that, I don't need to know that story. It's another museum. Oh, York. okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. It's got, you've got some things on display. <laughs> no, seriously, your fly's down. You need to take care of that. Oh, cool. Alright. Bye, guys.